Imagine, you had a good day of fishing and you're packing up to head home when you see a situation that just doesn't seem right. There's two people fishing down by the bank, pulling a sturgeon out of the water. Is that a sturgeon? Yeah, what's she doing? The angler and their partner put that sturgeon in the cooler. What do you do? When you're enjoying the Idaho outdoors, you can also be a witness for wildlife. Hi, I'm Brian Jack, Conservation Officer with Idaho Fish and Game. If you see something that doesn't look right, you should report it. But before you call in, there's steps you can take to help conservation officers make a case. First, your safety is always the most important thing to consider. Never engage or confront with someone that might be doing something illegal. And don't tell the suspect you're contacting the authorities. That could result in the destruction of critical evidence. What you can do is be a good witness. Look around, see the details, write those details down, take some notes, and take photos of the scene if you feel comfortable. We find writing the details down helps people recall specific events that could help the officer with their follow-up investigation. What's the license plate? For conservation officers to follow up on this case, we need information to identify the person or people that might have committed this crime. To do that, we need five key pieces of information from you, the witness. Number one, the suspect. In this case, the witness noticed the suspect wearing a distinctive purple jacket and a pink cap. They also noticed the suspect had a blonde ponytail and a stack of bracelets on her right wrist. So these are important details because there might be a lot of other women fishing the river that day, but very few in a purple jacket and pink cap. In this case, the witness noticed a gentleman in a blue hoodie that helped this woman land the sturgeon. Might be an accomplice in this case, and it's an important detail. Number two, license plates. A complete license plate is a critical piece of information because it allows us to connect a vehicle to a specific person and gives us the information we need to contact them. As the witness, if you're not sure which vehicle belongs to the suspect, you should note what other vehicles are in the area and document those license plates too. Let the conservation officer sift through that information and follow up. Number three, what wildlife was involved? In this case, it was a fish, a white sturgeon, approximately four feet in length. The witness saw that fish go into a large white cooler and get loaded in the back of a pickup truck. That's an important detail. Now we know what evidence was taken and where it might specifically be. Number four, the location. The witness was able to mark the location on a mapping app on their phone. You can use Onyx, Go Hunt, Google Maps to get a GPS location for where you specifically saw this event take place. The witness told officers it took place at Swan Falls Recreation Area and noted they were just below the dam. That's a major landmark that can help us hone in on where this fish was taken. Number five, date and time. Noting the date and time on your phone or watch, taking that note down, very important because it establishes the timeline of events for when this crime occurred. When you provide these five key details, conservation officers have a great chance of making a case. Remember, Idaho's wildlife belongs to you. Be a good witness and hold people accountable for stealing Idaho's fish and wildlife. Thanks for watching.